it's unfortunate to see the party take a step back um, to sort of give a nod to the, you know, some of the more conservative activists in the party, but I don't think that that's where people are in general. And the Republican Party in Massachusetts and the Republican Party nationally would be wise. Um, you know, they don't need to reinvent themselves, but they would be wise to look back and see what the Republican Party historically has always been about and uh, try to, you know, re, uh, renew our uh, commitment to the values that we were founded on. It is the craziest uh, thing. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm openly gay. I was uh, a big supporter of marriage equality in Massachusetts and always stood up for people's uh, individual rights and civil rights. And there are some people, I think, who are um, Democrats first, and then they're <laughs> you know, interested in matter, you know, issues of equality, LGBT uh, issues. Um, and I think that that op-ed pretty much um, sp you know, speaks to that point of view. just popped in out of the blue one day. I don't know what he was in the building for. That was sort of uh, odd, actually. I was in the 90s, and out of the blue, uh, I was a state senator, and Vomi popped into my office and told me I should be running for Congress, uh, um, which, you know, in Massachusetts, you don't see very many Republicans uh, very often. And then to have a Republican United States senator pop into your office, uh, it, was, it was kind of interesting. But he was a nice guy, and uh, we enjoyed uh, our conversation. Well, I wouldn't vote for Nancy Pelosi. So, and I will look at who is the candidates uh, for speaker at the time. Uh, but certainly, if it's John Boehner against a more right-wing, you know, um, type um, uh, candidate, I, I'd feel comfortable supporting Boehner. I'm a Red Sox season ticket holder, and um, boy, the, we, we have trouble with center fielders. I think Damon uh, did the same thing. Um, but we had a great team this year, and, um, and uh, we have good management in, in Boston, and we'll be a contender again. So uh, we'll, all, we'll all boo him when he comes up the first time to bat at uh, Fenway Park.